future Prime Empire. Ah! Where did Jay go? Over 800 players are now trapped inside the game. Hey guys, the Terminator 360 here, and today we will be slow building and reviewing the free Lego Ninjago arcade pods. The main focus of these arcade pods is that they have two figures in them, the ninja's avatar figure and their digi suit. And even though we didn't get arcade pods for the other ninja for some unknown reason, we did get their avatar figures in this set, Gamer's Market. We have Avatar Cole, Avatar Nia, and Avatar Pink Zane, which is an interesting choice because Zane doesn't have a regular season 12 suit. So I want to see why they put that in there when the season comes out. Now back to the arcade pods. The avatar figures are these figures right here. And they're really special because they have a different outlook on everything. All of their hair pieces are different. Lloyd has the mohawk and Kai and Jay have their movie onwards hair in different colors. And it honestly looks really awesome and I'm excited to see how they look once we get them out of here. So, and the boxes themselves even look like the arcade pods that come with it. With like the curved screen and the video game buttons we have. It just looks really, really awesome. They are all ages 7 plus and all have about the same number of pieces. Kai having 49, Jay having 47, and Lloyd having 48. The, the first four numbers of their set number is 7171. And then the, each of them has a different last different number. Kai is four, Jay is five, and Lloyd is six. Now if we turn them to the back, you can see the arcade pod with their avatar figures inside of them. You have a little rectangle showing all the accessories and weapons parts on all of them. And, you, and then under that, you have the opened up version of the arcade pod. And from the back of the box, you can get a really good idea of what this set is. And then at the bottom, it has actually had the actual size of the avatar figures. So without further ado, let's open them up. I've organized everything in a more or orderly fashion so you guys can see everything more clearly. You have the main pod pieces. Each of them has stickers, a weapons pack, and then the brick bag. All of them, the advertising, the front, has all of Jay's sets. Like it has Jay and Lloyd's Velocity Racers. It has Kai's mech, Jay's dragon, and Jay's arcade pod, which you can obviously see most of the sets and the, um, the camera angle makes Jay's sets seem the biggest because this is Jay's season. And something that I also thought is pretty cool and unique is if you look at the instructions, the ninja are actually building their own arcade pods. This is something I've never seen before, and I think it's really unique and cool. So now let's actually start. Right here we have Digi Kai, and right there we have Avatar Kai. You guys already saw where the Avatar heads are stored, but the body parts are stored in here. The torso goes right there, and the legs go right there. Let's start with Digi Kai now. He has the exact same suit printing as Jay. Same amount of circles, same design, same legs, same everything. But I think the design with the combination of the red is better than the combination with the blue. He also has the same health bar as all of the other ninjas. This health bar is stored with Kai's accessories, which are the stick of dynamite, the fire, 
and the sword with the golden handle that I'm using to point with. Just like literally all the other Digi Ninja, Kai has a dual sided face. He has his Digi face right there. And then if you flip it around, he has it is scared out of his mind face. And then just like most of the other ninja, he has the laser tag esque printing continued to the back. To be honest, one of the more average Digi suits. But I still like it though because Lego is just getting better and better with these ninja suits and villains every single year. And over here we have Avatar Kai. He's really cool. He has Kai's movie onwards hairpiece but in yellow. It has some sort of mask or paint on his eyes. And then he does have a sleeveless robe just like the Tournament of Elements robes. And then a little exposed chest with something over here which I don't know if it's a tattoo or something he's trying to hide. He does not have a dual-sided face, but he does have this really cool cobra printing on the back. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for Kai. Now let's move on to Lloyd. Now we have Lloyd. I think Digi Lloyd is pretty special, not because of the front printing, as you can see. In my opinion, that looks pretty average, but because of the back printing. If we take everything off right now. You can see he has his name on the back, L-L-O-Y, and then the last letter, which is D, is on the front. Just like all the others, he has two faces, a Digi face, and then a regular Lloyd face. This figure, it is pretty special because of the name, but otherwise it's pretty average in terms of everything. But that's not what I can say about the Avatar Lloyd. Avatar Lloyd is completely different and special. Instead of having the regular hairpiece but in a different color, he has a golden mohawk. And, and unlike the others that have no mask, he has a half mask and face tattoos. His chest is much more exposed than Kai's chest and also has that tattoo or think he's hiding sticking out from the side. He is wearing a hoodie, which you can see from the back. And it's also pretty weird that he has a belt under his hoodie, not over his hoodie. He has, um, like every other Lloyd we've gotten since season 11, he has two different color arms. One is a yellowish goldish and one is a green and his legs are also gold. And now let's move on to the accessories. We have his sword, just like Kai's, with the golden video game handle. And then since Avatar Lloyd kind of looks like a punk with the face tattoos and all that, he has a baseball bat. So now let's move on to the final arcade pod, Jay. As I said earlier, Jay's Digi C printing is exactly the same as Kai's, but of course his blue, and that Kai does it better. He is pretty basic in terms of all that. He does have a dual-sided face like the rest of them. He has his Digi face, and then a smirking face. Now, with his Digi suit being pretty average, his Avatar figure makes up for that and being probably the best one. It has his Ninjago Movie Onwards hairpiece in a different color, and then his face in a nice light blue with reflective tattoos, and his chest also has those tattoos. Here you guys can see the reflection. Now, he does have a, like a stars and a heavy belt making him look like a rock star, which fits his accessory, which is a guitar, and of course, he has a weapon. He is the only Avatar figure to have a dual-sided face, the face I just showed you, and a laughing his head off face, and I think this Avatar figure nails it, even having the guitar printing on the back. So overall, I'd give Jay prize for best arcade pod. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell to get notified when I upload future videos. Because of some new YouTube rules, the bell may not work. So also come back and check on my channel every two free weeks. See ya next time. Ninja!